Hello developers, welcome to Webworms. In today's tutorial, we are going to see how can we use form to build beautiful and amazing forms easily with the help of React.js. Formic is one of the most popular form library for both platforms React.js and React Native. Now, while building our forms, we need to validate our forms input fields and in order to achieve that goal, we will use yup npm package. Yup is one of the most popular npm package to validate our forms input fields. And while building our forms, we will store our forms data in our local storage. So we are going to cover a lot of concepts like local storage, formic, and yup. And uh, let me tell you, this is beginner's tutorial. In next tutorial, we will see how can we build multi-step form with the help of formic. So if you are beginner, I will highly recommend you to complete watch this tutorial and stay tuned with me because in next tutorial, we are going to cover multi-step form with the help of Formic. So let's get started. So guys, here is our starter code, our starter project, which we are going to use in our this tutorial. And the main goal of our this application is to validate our forms input fields form, which we are going to see how can we build that with the help of formic package. And at the end, we will see how can we store, how can we show our these forms inputs values. The first one is name, the second one is email, and the third one is message. How can we show these values in our local storage after, after clicking on send button? Now, if I will click on this button send, as you can see that here is our error message, name is required. And yeah, here is our email's error message, email is required. And after that, here is our message, perfect. Now, in order to download this project, I will provide you its downloading link. You can download it easily from description box. And after downloading this project, you need to open that in your Visual Studio Code in your code editor. And after opening this project, you need to open your terminal and you need to type npm install command. Now, with the help of this, this command, all the required packages for over this application will be installed. Now, if I will open package.json file, as you guys can see that we need only three packages. The first one is formic, which we are using to build our form. The second one is node sass, which we are using in order to style over this application. And the third one is yup, which we are using in order to add validation in our forms input fields. Perfect. Now we will see the folder structuring of over this application. So as you guys can see that inside source folder of over this application, we have a button component and utils folder and over files. Now inside button component, here are two files. The first one is styling file and the second one is index.js. Inside index.js, here is the code for our button component. Now the main motive of our this video is to learn about formic and yup and local storage. So let's skip that. And let's move on to our utils folder. Inside our utils folder, there are two sub files. The first one is contact form schema.js and the second one is form initial values. The initial values of our forms input fields. Okay. Now inside contact form schema.js. As you guys can see that I am validating my forms input fields. Now I am telling that my name field should be a string and here is the error message if I am disobeying my validation rules. And uh, here is my emails error message, um, emails validation. I am telling my email field should be a string and here is the error message for my email if this is invalid. And here is another error message for, over, um, uh, for uh, email is required. Now, inside our form initial values.js, as you guys can see that here are the initial values for our forms input fields. Now, inside app.js, here is the main code. Now, formic provides us some built-in components like formic itself, form, field, error message, here are that, here. 
Now here I am using my app button component and here I am importing my form initial values file and contact form schema file and here is my styling file. Now inside app function, inside app function, let's skip that code because this code is related to our these headings. Now here, yeah, in order to build form with the help of formic, first of all, you need to use formic tag which, for, uh, which formic provide us uh, on his own. This, uh, this formic form field and error messages tags are pre-built in our formic package. So you need to import these tags formic form field and error message and first of all you need to use formic tag now inside our formic tags here are over three attributes initial values validation schema and on submit okay now inside initial values attribute you need to paste form initial values here here is our file form initial values file you need to import that and inside validation schema attribute you need to import our contact form uh, schema file contact form schema file uh, here is that contact form schema now our on submit function will run when i will click on send button uh, here is my button if i will show you uh, mm, yeah here is my button whose type is submit and here's its title which is send okay and if i will show you my contact form here here are only three fields the first one is name the second one is email and the third one is message okay let's uh, scroll up and yeah after using formic tag and and the main thing is you need to close this tag you need to close this tag and inside our formic tag you need to type this code error and touch actually uh, with the help of uh, these two uh, these two uh, code of lines errors and touch if i will show you uh, let me refresh this page if i will click on name field now as you guys can see that i touch this field and if i will click uh, outside of our form here here is our error message here is the purpose of uh, errors and touch now inside of over this code uh, you need to use form tag which uh, form provide us on his own form tag and uh, inside of our form tag here is our main tag field tag and as you guys can see that i typed uh, some one two three four six attributes i used six attributes the first one is auto complete which is off the second one is type uh, which is a text and the third one is class name for styling purpose and the fourth one is name uh, and the fifth one is placeholder name and the sixth one is required which is true okay so you can use required attribute too in order to uh, validate your form and as you guys can see that here's our error message name is required uh, which is here name is required because as you guys can see that i click on this field and then i click on outside of our form so our error message will shown and uh, here i implement the logic errors dot name if there is an if there is any error of our name field and if i touch on my name field and then i touch outside of our form then i have to show this error message of our names error message and in order to show the error message you need to use error message uh tag of our form package and the same logic i applied for email field um the changes are only that i type uh, i use the type email and uh, here is my name which is email and the placeholder is email and uh, errors dot email and add and touched the dot uh, dot email sorry because uh, i am showing error message of my email now and here is the, and here is the name attribute which is email of our error message okay tag of our formic package and now for text area in order to get text area from formic package you need to type only one more attribute inside your field tag which is as is equal to text area because we need text area in our form now as is equal to text area now here is our text area perfect message now as you guys can see that i use required attribute and uh, yeah here is the error message for our message field 
and here is our app button now i have to type my logic uh, for submitting my form values to my local storage inside my on submit function now inside my on submit function first of all i i have to type async and uh, async and here is value values sorry values and uh, let's remove that one and let's use try catch if i am catching any error so i have to alert it alert error dot message okay perfect done yeah inside over try i have to you uh, i have to fetch my name email and message value okay name email and message which i am getting via my this values perfect and uh, let's console that one to name email and message console.log okay and then i have to type await local storage dot um i think set item yeah local storage dot set item user and uh, json dot stringify because inside our local storage we always um, store our values of our phone in, inside string as a string format sorry so json dot stringify and uh, name is equal to name and uh, email is equal to email and message is equal to sorry message i think perfect uh, email and message perfect now let's try refresh let's open our local storage and console panel 2 here is our console and let's type our uh, name name is not email it's not at gmail.com hi i am testing my code testing my code and sent that's not yeah perfect here is my name here is my email and here is my message now let's move to over um where uh, yeah network <laughs> no application and yeah perfect here are our values yeah here email message and our name it is our user which is our key because we uh, we used user key in our this form in order to store our values in our local store so here is so here is our mini tutorial we achieved our goal uh, and i will i will also provide you this complete source code so you can download it easily from description box if you guys have any type of questions so please let me know and in our next tutorial we will see how can we build multi-step form with the help of forming and yup perfect i think yeah perfect so please stay tuned with me and uh, see you in the next video